This is Diane from Beefhead Videos. Just calling to let you know that one of the videos returned yesterday wasn't one of ours. It doesn't have a label on it, but it seems to be a recording of a guy humping a pillow. The video you should have returned was um, How to Please a Woman in Bed 101 Part 2. Please return it to us soon. Thank you. Congratulations, Mr. Touchdown. Your registration for the 8th UAA rank is now complete. In addition, we have faxed you some information about the rankings in case you wish to continue your ascent. Please transfer the money into the designated account. Have a nice day. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to No More Heroes on the Nintendo Wii. I am Omar Sheep yet again, and today, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to do some more side goodies, some side missions that we can... Well, I think a few new areas have actually opened up to us throughout the map, so let's go and check them out. And we're actually going to be getting our first video VHS cassette in this part, ladies and gentlemen. And the VHS cassettes are basically... There are main ways to get brand new wrestling moves, you know, you get new abilities from them. And we also access have access to Goldstown, which is an area I don't know if I'm showing off in this part or not. It, I, it's been a long time since I recorded this, so we'll see. But uh, it's quite an important place in this game, in terms of getting power-ups and what have you. It's completely optional as well, but I'll talk more about that later on. First things first, this shop has opened up to us. This here is Beefhead Video, and like I said, this is where we get our VHS cassettes. This is where we can gain access to new wrestling moves and what have you to help us out. And this guy by here is Bishop. Is that basically? I think he's meant to be Travis's best friend. <laughs> Look at the Star Wars poster on the right. That's amazing. So um, yeah, every now and then you go on you after each mission and sometimes a new VHS cassette will pop up. Just grab a VHS cassette and you'll be able to just move on your way, you know? And occasionally Travis will just, not Travis, Bishop will talk to you about his life and how his girlfriend's a psychopath and stuff like that, you know? <laughs> it's pretty neat, it's pretty neat. But um, this is around the point in the playthrough where we're going to start editing out a lot of the stuff that we don't need to do. For example, I'm only really going to show off necessary traveling in the world map. Because, to be honest, 90% of the game length is this world map. So it can be a bit tedious to get through, you know. But see that alleyway by there? Well, that's basically where we go to go into Gold Town. Well, one of the ways. There's two ways we can essentially go into Gold Town. That one alleyway that I'm completely ignoring. Or the front entrance is right, which is right by the. I forgot the name of the guy. Thunder Ryu's building. That's the one. Thunder Ryu. Thunder Ryu. Uh, essentially, this place is basically a pub. Yeah, I like it. I like it. You know, we don't really go in here much. It's only twice in this entire playthrough you're gonna see this place now and later on when I collect certain items that are all over the map. And you you see me pick one of them up already. The lobby calf balls and. Basically, for every seven of these things you can pick up in the world map, you'll be able to get a new ability. And I picked up quite a few of these, enough to get three power-ups, because I was an idiot and I didn't realize that you can choose what power-up to go for. So, uh, I don't know, I digress. Anyway, take your clothes off, I'll teach you that technique. Okie dokie, let's -a go! <laughs> like I said, on one of my other videos, I'm going to try and force my Luigi voice into every playthrough I can. And uh, these mini games by here, they don't really change too much every chance we get, so um, it's time to speed up. <laughs> it's quite comical watching this in fast motion, I have to say. So I'm going to be speeding up all of the Thunder Ryu Gym things because we've seen them all once before. And until we get certain beam katanas later on, the, the dumbbell minigame we want to actually be doing. That's for some reason that gets locked off quite a bit during this um, playthrough. I don't know why they locked it off, but probably to stop you from having an infinite hit combo or something. I don't know. I don't know how this game has developed. But we have no, um, we have a couple of upgrades that we can pick up for our current beam katana, the Subaki, which basically powers it up and makes it so it uses a lot less energy. You know, the battery does not go down anywhere near as quick as they used to, which is a good thing. It's a good thing. You gotta have more energy. The more energy you have, the more slicey dicey you can do onto your foes. You know? 
But anyway, it's time for the third major side mission of the game. Garbage collecting! You know those people who walk on the street with those uh, little claw thingies and pick up garbage? Yeah, we're essentially doing that. Now, if this was any other game, this mini game would be pointless. But because this game has motion controls, it, it works out pretty well. It's pretty fun. It does drag on a bit, but... Uh, Editing comes in handy for that. What can I say? <laughs> Seriously, that's my biggest problem with a lot of these mi side mini games is they do drag on. You know, they take a long time. But to be fair, that's a lot of this game in a nutshell. A lot of the okay, clearly it was two miles away from the wall there. But a lot of things in this game sort of drag on a little bit more than they need to. I think I already pointed this out, which is a bit of a shame because the second game solve that by making everything pretty more linear and well not so much linear the second game just solved a lot of the issues of this one you know <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ sorry <laughs> Jesus just run him over ah uh, I'm surprised you can run over and uh, normal NPCs in this game because I rarely see the NPCs in the map honestly this world's very void and very lifeless if you look at it it's just so sort of there, <laughs> the grey land of, I don't know, uh. the god of garbage will be watching, unfortunately for this mission we aren't able to use our bike and this is one of the missions where certain upgrading and pick up later on in the game which allows you to run faster comes really in handy but we don't really need to get a silver or gold, just run around the streets and look for the garbage pan, garbage pans, garbage cans and what have you. Push the A button and just swipe the Wii remote upwards and you'll throw it in the old giant bin thing. <laughs> that rhymed, bing thing. <laughs> uh, honestly that's all there is to this mini game, you have a quite a long time and just keep at it, you know, obviously the more garbage you get, the more you collect, the more money you get, and the more money you get, well, the more you can get upgrades in the future, and the less grinding you're going to have to do. Although I do have a bit of issue with picking up the garbage, that sometimes stuff like that happens and I'll kick it away from me, so I try and grab it, but no, I booted it away. Curse you, realistic gameplay. <laughs> uh, this is riveting, though. Honestly, I, I assure you, this is actually pretty damn fun to play, but it doesn't look fun to watch. Two hours later. Anyway, two hours later, we're back here. As you can tell, I collected 45 of the, well, 44 of the swords. The last one didn't count, which really annoys me. At least I don't think it counted. Did it count? Nope, 44. Okay, the last garbage can I picked up didn't count. But that was a gold rank anyway, so you don't need the running power up but it does help you to get a lot more a lot more of the garbage cans quicker you know you'll be able to get a lot more but I digress it's time to get some assassination mini games going on well mini games just normal missions I suppose assassination missions and one thing I haven't actually brought up yet is the fact that there's actually something in this game called free missions free free rank missions and Actually, no, I'll, I'll save my commentary for that when we get to them, because they're quite annoying. <laughs> but the second pizza butt assassination mission is next, where, just like the first one, we need to go to the pizza butt employee, CEO, dude, guy, and just slice him and dice him. Same rules apply to this one as they do with the original minigame. We just avoid all the mooks and kill the main mook that has the, hoo -hoo -hoo, hit me, hit me, you know, that. The mook that has the fuck me target, that guy, just hit him on the head until he dies and we're done with this mission. Honestly, it's simple, it's easy peasy. Although it is very annoying that these G-men in black guys, they, they tend to clip you a lot with your with their bullets because they, they're mostly ranged fighters, so they can be a bit annoying. But as long as you can beat him within a matter of 30 seconds or so, it should basically be an automatic gold rank. It's very easy. Bada bing. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is what it means to be a victor. Ah, oh, Luigi missed out on it. Don't know why I'm doing the Luigi voice there. That, that was just unintended, none needed. Right, anyway, the next one by here is Swordmaster, and this one's my favorite type of assassination mission, I suppose, because it's basically a giant deathmatch. I mean, you just go to the point where they tell you, 
and you're slicing and dicing a million and odd people in one go, you know? Just kill until you win. That's all I can really say. And I like it, you know? Although, the mission name implies... Well, not name. Mission description implies that there's a time... You have to go through the time limit. Time limit. But these mooks by here, they don't respawn, you know? After you kill all the mooks in the area, it's a basically automatic victory, so... If you're good enough, just slice and dice the rest of the room until they're all down. It's really easy to do. It's one of the easiest assassination missions in the game. Ho ho ho! Combo on that, son! <clears throat> we got that force? You are! I can't do Yoda's voice. I wish I could. I I used to be able to do Yoda's voice basically perfect, like what it's like in the movies, but... I don't know, through, through the years I've lost my abilities with that. Maybe it's lack of practice or something, because I never really imitate Yoda too much. What am I doing? I'm out of battery, you fool. I always find that I do that in this game. I run out of battery, but I continue to try and hurt the people who I meant to, you know? Oh, I love when you take out multiple enemies with a single slice. When you get better beam katanas later down the line in this game, you can take out more and more enemies with single slices, and... I think the Subaki Mark III is the best with that, because that's basically a giant a giant laser bat. And you can wipe out an entire room of enemies with a single strike without that weapon, and I can't wait to get it, because it's so fulfilling when you do wipe out an entire room of enemies. Just like, oh, oh my, ah, oh. you know? It's kind of fitting that I went, ah, oh, because I was, I was actually cleaning out my ear and it felt so good. <laughs> Ah, uh, but that's an either, an either, another easy gold for us, and... Ah, I think this is where I actually do tackle the free missions, do I? Yes, I do. I'm tackling the free mission. So, what? Uh, every time you beat a ranked fight, these M's will pop up on the map. And whenever you go into the M's, then you have a certain mission objective you need to fulfill. Now, these are exceptionally frustrating, so you need to kill all these mooks by here without taking a single hit and within the time limit. It is annoying, it is frustrating, it is tedious, I do not like doing these. That is why throughout this entire playthrough, this is the only one I'm showing off because if you fight, if you're fighting um, like one of those mooks that shoot you, you know, a range mook, you'll find yourself screwed because the range mook will just pepper you in the back and that'll be it, that'll be done. It's depressing, you know, it's really depressing. So, see, like that, he, he wasn't even a range mook, he just ran up to me and booped me in the head, and I lost. I lost. So yeah, it's a challenging little type of mission, but I, I can see the, I can see what people may enjoy doing them if they want a little bit of extra challenge, so. They're just an option you can do in this game, you know, ladies and gentlemen, just drive around the map, look for the M's, and you can do it. But like I said, that's the only one I'm doing. Uh, I don't like them. <laughs> and they're not really worth showing off because you don't really get many bonuses for doing them. I think you just get extra money and that's pretty much it. And if I want to grind money, I'm just going to do the easy missions that give me tons of money for like no effort whatsoever. You gotta think efficiently, you know. It's all about the quantity, all over the quality in terms of mission rank. Yeah, grinding. <laughs> It's crazy over here. No time to explain. I'll send details over snail mail. Gotta run. What the hell's going on over there? <laughs> Jeez, don't leave me hanging, honey. Well, that, what? <laughs> what just happened? What? <laughs> okay, so apparently she... Sylvia frequents in the army as a side job. Huh, who knew? But anyways, just watch this video by here. This is what we're mainly going to be using the TV for, so... Get the VHS cassettes, plug them into the TV, and there we go, we learned a new wrestling move. Yay! You know, I miss VHSs. I used to love them, because you could just fast-forward past all the adverts and stuff that I play at the beginning. It hey makes me happy, because I, I, it really bugs me in modern DVDs and stuff, where you can't skip the adverts, and they're just there. And I'm like, no, I want to watch the film! I bought the movie! <sighs> and that's why Netflix exists. Yep. <laughs> uh, but I digress. There's, here's the memo telling us where to go next. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't be sheepish, people. And when we return next time, we'll be taking on the next...
Ranked Assassin. I can't remember the name, so we'll find out next time. So thanks for watching, people. I'll catch you all next time. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't be sheepish. Bye!